All houses wherein men have lived and died are haunted houses. Through the open doors, the harmless phantoms on their errands glide, with feet that make no sound upon the floors. We meet them at the doorway, on the stair, along the passages they come and go. Impalpable impressions on the air, a sense of something moving to and fro. There are more guests at table than the hosts invited. The illuminated hall is thronged with quiet, inoffensive ghosts, as silent as the pictures on the wall. The stranger at my fireside cannot see the forms I see, nor hear the sounds I hear. He but perceives what is, while unto me all that has been is visible and clear. If nothing else, he has certainly made it interesting. Phillips at third, Creel at second, Lopez at first. Adam Dunn steps in against the right-hander who's yet to give up a home run this season. And a home run right now would cap off a rather impressive comeback. Here's Dunn, who's only hit tonight in four times. A seventh-inning single. Had to double to win the game in the eighth inning last night. 
And the stretch by Whitman in the pitch. And it's taken high, ball one. They are pacing in the Cleveland dugout. Manager Eric Wedge, pitching coach Carl Willis. It is 8-5, Indians. Done up there with the bases loaded. The outfield deep and around toward right, and the 1-0 on the way to the plate. Swung on, long drive, right field, and this one belongs to the rim. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Adam Dunn with a screaming line drive into the Cleveland bullpen in right field, and the Reds have done what appeared to be the impossible. the world we're for. This is not the home that we have. This is not the home we're built for. You know, there was a great movie that I love so much. Uh, it doesn't get a lot of uh, attention anymore, but, but Geraldine Page starred in a movie called The Trip to Bountiful in the 80s, 1980s. And in it, is a, she, she plays an aging widow who's very unhappy with life, and then she gets in her mind the idea that if she could just get back to where she was raised, if she could get back to the little farm outside of the little town of Bountiful, that's a Gulf Coast, Texas uh, little uh, village. If she could just get home, if she'd just go back there, somehow she'd get back her strength and her dignity, and she gets there. And she finds that everyone she's ever known is dead or gone. And she finds that the, the house itself is a crumbling wreck. And you see, I don't know, you, you know, if you go back to places that you have these incredibly fond memories of, grand, wonderful memories of. It's not just that you find that the place has changed. It's not just you find that the house is falling down or that somebody built a shopping mall in the, in the, in the field where you used to listen to the birdies. You know, um, it's not just that, but even the parts that you, when you go back, you find that even the parts that you have, uh, that haven't changed, you realize you remember them as being much grander than they really are. In other words, even the home you remember you never had. Why? The Bible makes sense of it. The Bible says the home that your heart seeks, in fact, even the home that your heart remembers, it's never had as an individual. It's the collective memory of...
Will you just say something already? God, I've been following you around for months now and nothing's changed. Are you going to help out or not? I hate you. I hate these places. I hate this feeling. If I weren't so alone right now, I'd never want to see you again. Just... Leave me the hell alone. Just let this end already. Hello? We just want you to know that we are here for you. Maybe not in the way that you wanted, but the best we can. The best you can doesn't feel like anything. I've been alone for so long now. I just wish things could be like before. Things will never be the same again. As much as we wish they could be. It's not fair. Everything's changed so much. And I feel like I'm not getting any closer to anywhere, anyone, or anything. Maybe not. But you'll never know if you give up. I just don't know if I can get through this alone. I miss everyone so much. Oh, darling. Being alone is a part of life. But you're never really alone. We, we are, are always, always here, with here with you. Just a play away. And what'll happen when this thing breaks? Then what'll I do? You don't need that thing to be with us. And only you can decide what you'll do. Your journey. Your choice. The next part won't be easy. But before we go, take a deep breath, okay? You're leaving me? Now? Why do you have to go? You can't move on if you are following us around everywhere. What if I can't do this? You can. Because... You have to. One step at a time. One step at a time. One step at a time. Okay? Okay. okay.